Britain, Britain, Britain. Her high street all dressed up for the ball, but who will take her? So much to say, but frankly, my dear, most seem tongue-tied. While the brands stare in at the PR shop window for the most part, their eyes meet only droopy waiters serving up weak tea. Obviously, they think Traction and Influence is a dear old engineering firm in Wolverhampton. Come to that, it probably is. No wonder the British public are confused. Uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Not much, really. Uh, who are you from? Who am I talking to? PR girls. In Mimi. There we go. Um, spin. Uh, glamorous girls in offices, blonde ones having business lunches. Scam. I'll say it's a scam. Public relations. But then, just occasionally, along comes a team with a voice and opinion. Basically, chaps prepared to play up and play the game. And trust me, they often touch the things one least suspects. Easy, Tiger. Poor old Margaret B. Debagged on the phone by Rory Bremner, alias Gordon. As for old Borky, he was there to help spread some good old-fashioned schadenfreude. Hollywood photographer Jason Boland not only bought his fiance a house, he had it gift-wrapped. There was a time when this kind of showing off was punishable by death. But now in these more liberal times, wrapping up a house as a Valentine's present is all the rage. Of course, Mr. B and gang were on hand to help. Auntie is not usually known as a great mover, but with a little help from you-know-who, she managed to decide to upskirts to Salford to live in a rather grand media centre. And then, of course, there's my little intergalactic helper, Miss P. From TARDIS to West End stage, Borkovskis has managed the firestorm otherwise known as Billy Piper. Absolutely, core blimey. Talk about fingers in pies. But trust me, this really is what these Borkovsky types call everyday fare. So, while Great Britain slumbers, great things are happening under its surreal surface. Behind the twitching curtains, the steaming cups of char, and the soggy crumpets, those at Borkovsky HQ are beavering away. So is there anyone in this Emerald Isle who is unaware of the great works of Borkovsky? I suppose there must be. But crikey, you have to look hard. No, I've never heard of him. Never heard of him. They may well remain mystified, but remain in no doubt, chances are the Borkovsky lot are probably lurking somewhere in the shadows. The smoking gun and all that kind of baloney. All very clever stuff. I have absolutely no hesitation whatsoever in recommending Mark Bukowski and his team to absolutely any organisation. Well, if that's the case, a deal it is, dear Sir Noel, as I'm sure it may well be if the price is right. You see, anything is possible in dear old Blighty. The key to it all is who you know, who they know, and why they know it. But don't get me wrong, this is not the old boys' network, but a highly charged young enterprise with enough stamina to run the back legs off your traditional English seaside donkey. So, as I fade away, as my doctor tells me I must, I leave you with this. Let's hope someone in this happy kingdom wakes up beside the idea, possibly my wife, that it's always better to have a firm hand behind the action. So let's keep Britain great and PR standing for public revelation, not public revulsion. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.